if you're a content creator, podcaster, YouTuber, someone who works in social audio and you're looking for a broadcast quality microphone, I don't think you can go much further than this particular product, the podcast microphone from Rode. So it's called the PodMic and it's a extremely quality build for this price point. In fact, so much so, I actually think it's underpriced, in my opinion, given that I have chosen it as my microphone of choice in helping other people learn podcasting and also YouTube. So if it's something that you're looking for and that's why you've arrived here, then I'm going to tell you some of the features and benefits of this particular product that will help you arrive at the decision of whether it's correct for you. I know it took me a while to work out which microphone I was most comfortable with and I'm comfortable that I made this purchase for my own content creation. So with the Rode podcast mic, we'll just unbox it and we'll have a look at what you get and we'll talk about the quality of the build. So when we unbox the Rode mic, you'll see that there's not much to what's in the box and that's because it really is just the microphone. Something to be aware of is that you don't actually get a XLR cable with this particular microphone so it does require you to make an extra purchase so if you're purchasing now make sure you also get the cable that you would need to make this particular microphone work with your mixer or your uh, digital audio workstation however you're connecting the microphone. There's not much in the box that gives you information on what you need to do with the microphone because it is pretty self-explanatory when you open the microphone itself. But they do give you a little card that demonstrates where to plug the cable in and where to plug it in to a mixer. And there is a QR code that will also take you to the website if you do need to have more information about how to use the microphone. So basically what's contained in the box is the Rode microphone itself. And it is a solid build. This is a really weighty microphone. I'm not sure of the exact weight of this particular microphone. I think it's around 750 grams, which makes it quite heavy for its class of microphone. And the reason that is, it is an all metal build. The only uh, things that are made of uh, plastic, and they're really solid baked plastic, is the adjustments on its own mount. Now, this design... The mesh that protects the diaphragm of the microphone actually is also an alloy and it's a built-in pop filter and windshield. So it helps protect against wind and also plosives. So when you're speaking, we have words like P and B and B that can result in power hitting the diaphragm and create a popping sound. Well, this particular microphone helps reduce the effects of popping sounds. So that's one of the benefits. The other benefit of this microphone is it has an inbuilt shock mount. So what that means is the diaphragm is protected when it gets bumped. It has the ability to vibrate and absorb some of the energy from bumping a stand or a mic arm that this may be mounted on. And that's really important because if you do bump it, you don't want to ruin the audio quality of the microphone. So I use this microphone myself and I'm certainly not disappointed with the build but I would say is if you need to get a stand for this particular microphone make sure you get one that can withstand the weight of the build because it is really a robust quality build. Now it does take a XLR female cable at one end and you need to check your own mixer to determine what cable you'll need at the other end but uh, it does not come with a cable so it must reinforce that you will need to purchase a cable if you want to use this particular microphone. Now the other benefit of this particular mic is if you are looking to use it with any other Rode product like the Rodecaster Pro or say Rodecaster Pro 2 then I would highly suggest getting this microphone or any number of their microphones in the series because they are compatible with their device. It is a dynamic microphone so that means you don't need a mixer with phantom power to use this actual microphone. And the Rode actually allows you to, inside their mixers, choose this particular microphone so that it actually is most compatible when you plug it in. It sets up the settings by default that are best suited to using this microphone with their own mixer. So I will say I'm an Australian. This is an Australian-made product and it's one of the most respected products on the planet when it comes to content creation in the audio space. It's a broadcast quality microphone, solid build, 
awesome engineering as with their other products. And uh, I'm super proud that I'm an Aussie who gets to share their opinion on this particular brand and uh, also that it is an Australian company. So I hope this helps you make a decision as to whether this microphone is actually for you. And if not, then be sure to check out some of the other microphones that are available and hopefully you'll see me in another video helping you choose the right item for you and your content creation journey.